Welcome back to our channel. Let's take a look to see what we have today. Biden administration giving interview to Russian. Landswick new outlet to counter Kremlin disinformation. Senior Biden administration official have done at least a seven interview with Russian language a new outlet in recent days as part of an effort to counter the Kremlin disinformation about the Ukraine crisis and strict. Uh, speak directly to uh, a uh, Russian audience. U.S. official ex explained, State Department under Secretary for Pol Political Affairs Victoria Newland did an interview with an uh, echo of uh, Moscow radio today. The day after the Kremlin took the uh, radio station of the airway with uh, the State uh, Department reached out to the outlet to uh, propose the interview. According to a U.S. Uh, Official, what is the word air on the radio YouTube channel? And the day before the outlet was shut down, State Department spokesperson Ned Price did an interview with outlet. The department will continue to support these outlets even after the Kremlin bans them. As an effort to keep their work relevant, U.S. officials said. Top Biden administration official are also aggressively calling out the Kremlin for cracking down on the media. The Kremlin right now is uh, engaged uh, in a full assault on uh, media freedom and the truth. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said Thursday, saying the White House is uh, deeply concerned about those steps. She cited a uh, uh, restricted uh, set to uh, independent news networks, Echo of Moscow, and a TV rain, as well as threats uh, to block online platforms, uh, including VOA Russia. Price said on rest day night that the Kremlin is engaged in a, a full assault on media freedom and the truth, and Moscow effort to mislead and uh, suppre suppress uh, the truth of the brutal invasion are intensifying. This is the end of our news today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.